Hey everybody, it's your boy LaBea Rome, the Disabled Fragrance Guy, and I'm back for another review. Do me a favor, if you haven't done so already, please go down below, like, and subscribe to the channel. While you're down there, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified about every time I drop a video to YouTube. I want to thank you guys for rocking with me so far. I think we have over a thousand or fourteen, thirteen hundred subscribers so far, which amazes me because in my little corner of the world, I never thought I would get to that number. So I want to thank you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing and finding my content worthy enough to hang around for. I really appreciate you guys. If you have comments, concerns, feedback, please feel free to leave comments on any number of my videos. Any of my videos that you watch, if you can see that I need improvement somewhere, leave a comment. If I'm doing a good job, leave a comment. If I'm totally sucking in your eyes, leave a comment. I am okay with that. Just, I, you know, I want to interact with you guys. So feel free to interact as appropriate. My email is also in the description of every video that I post. So if you want to reach out, you have the means to do it. Okay, so this is going to be part three my, in my deep dive of the House of Goldfield and Banks, Australia. Today's review is going to be on Goldfield & Banks, Silky Woods. Now, Silky Woods came out in 2021. The notes from the top, we have Ceylon Cinnamon and Saffron. In the mid, we have Suede, Oud from Madagascar, Ylang Ylang and Jasmine. And in the base, we have Tahitian Vanilla, Australian Sandalwood, Tobacco Leaf, Olibanum and Musk. Now, sizes and prices. I do not have a full bottle. I have this sample here that Goldfield and Banks did send me for my review. Shout out to the company, thank you so much. Um, but a 100 ml bottle is going to run you $235 USD. We're gonna get into that price in a little bit later. <laughs> but let's spray the fragrance. I have this tester strip right here. Let's spray the fragrance. I have worn this on skin, so I know where this is gonna go. So, it has a somewhat astringent opening on the first spray. This is a unisex scent, however, in my opinion, in my opinion only, this leans a little bit more masculine. So if you are a woman who likes masculine leaning scents, I think you might like this. However, even though it is classified as unisex, I do believe it leans a little bit more masculine. It settles into a woodsy, ambery vanilla type fragrance which is not bad it's not bad at all it's like sniffing a vanilla it's like sniffing vanilla ice cream off of a stump of wood in the outback <laughs> i know that's a crazy visualization why would you be you know uh sniffing vanilla ice cream off of a stump of wood in the you know, Australian Outback, hey, that's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. It's sl slightly sweet, slightly woodsy. Um, I believe it is appropriate for the, the hotter months. However, you may have to go easy on the trigger. Um, but that's exactly what I get. And that's exactly the visualization that comes to my mind. It gets a little bit sweeter in the dry down, but it also gets a lot more creamy with the sandalwood. Um, I, I do not get any tobacco leaf at all. That's just to my nose. I don't get the tobacco leaf. I do get a lot of the musk. There is a lot of musk here. So if you like musky fragrances, this is one you want to check out, but I do not get a lot of tobacco leaf. And in the mid, I get absolutely no oud. I don't know where oud is in this fragrance. I know it's listed. I do not perceive oud to my nose. Don't know where it's at. Um, I, I had a thought about this because I have worn it on skin a number of times and this is going to sound really weird, kind of like licking or sniffing vanilla, uh, ice cream off of a stump of wood. However, this to me smells like a vanilla bandaid. If band-aids were made out of vanilla, that's exactly what you would get here. I cannot unsmell that. I can't. This smells exactly like a Band-Aid dipped in vanilla. And 
wow, that is just like, it's an interesting scent, but it's not for me. It, it's just not a scent that I can say that I would wear on a regular basis. It is for someone, someone out there, I'm sure, loves vanilla band-aids, but I can't say that I am that person. Um, personally, to me, to me, only to me, only my opinion, it feels like the company rushed this release um, a little bit too quickly and didn't smooth out the rougher edges of the fragrance. Now this is strong, it's pungent, it's slightly sweet. I don't think that this fragrance knows which direction it wants to go in. Does it wanna be a sweet fragrance? Does it wanna be a woodsy fragrance? Does it, you know, I don't think it has the direction that it wants to go in. And that's unfortunate because I do think with a little bit more care and a little bit more thought, this could be an outstanding fragrance. However, right now as it sits, I, I don't think it knows what it wants to do. It's sweet, it's woodsy, it's, it, it's kind of a sweet, woodsy, band-aid nightmare on my skin, honestly. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Um, it kind of, it kind of smells like a bootleg sweeter version of YSL tuxedo that has been rushed to get out to the masses. And that's what I get. I cannot co-sign on this fragrance. I wish I could because it sounded good uh, when I first encountered it. At least the description sounded good, but the fragrance itself, I cannot, I, I can't get with this at all. Um, and that's where I have an issue with the price tag, $235. You are talking about supreme niche prices. You're talking about homage prices at that point. And for a sweet Band-Aid, I can't, no, I would never, I would never buy that. I would never pay that amount of money for at least what's in this sample. Now. Now, if the company goes back to the drawing board and smooths some of these rougher edges out, maybe then I can see getting this fragrance because I think it has potential, but I don't think it's there yet. That is my honest opinion. And you guys know that I'm always gonna give you my honest opinion. I wanna thank you guys for rocking with me. I wanna thank you guys for your attention. I appreciate you guys. You know I do. Go down below, like, and subscribe, and I'll check you next time.